Meantime, Fox 13's Alcida Sugi is pulling the cool school duty today. That's right. He's in St. Petersburg for us this morning. You've been having fun already, huh, Alcida? Oh, absolutely. And we're live at Canterbury uh, School of Florida. It's in St. Petersburg. It's an independent uh, private school. It really is a cool school for so many reasons. And one of the reasons is they got amazing students right here. This is the lower school, as they call it, because they have two separate campuses. Joining me now is Nancy Halvey. Come on down here. You're the principal of the lower school. I am. It's so interesting. And talk to us about the school in general. What makes it such a cool school? Canterbury School is the cool school because of our students. Right, guys? <laughs> yes. We have the best students, we have the best parents, and it's a wonderful community. And we have a fantastic character education program. And, um, and we got video of that, that character yeah. education class. What do they learn there? They, that's like once a week, and they learn some really interesting things. It's called Canterbury Advisory Program, and the children learn how to be a good person. They learn to be respectful, to be kind, to share, uh, to be selfless, because they learn uh, selflessness. And it's a wonderful program. And uh, the parents partner with us with that. And we also have a chapel service on Thursdays. And that service goes along with our character education program. The Marine Biology Lab, 2,800 square foot lab located in the other campus. It's so impressive. We, we went there yesterday. These kids learn so much. Can you talk to us about that? Apparently, it's like the only one in the state. We are the only one in the state. And we also partnering with uh, Cousteau Divers, which is the only one in the Amazing. world right now. So we're real excited about that. Uh, we have labs down here that uh, support the Marine Studies program. The children go once a month to our lab and then twice a year up to the upper campus, too. And you're starting a new PK-3 program starting next <gasps> yes, school year. Yes, we exciting are. Time. Very exciting. We've had a lot of interest in our pre-K-3 program. Um, we're going to uh, promote five days or three days or two days. So we're really excited about it. Can you talk to us about the private entity? And it, Because I was asking you about it yesterday, and I was trying to figure out, you guys are private uh, a private school but you're also independent from the school district in general so the funds actually come from the parents and the staff everybody here it's an it's a overall team effort it is an overall team effort um, we are an independent school we're governed by Florida Council of Independent Schools the parents are wonderfully supportive we have a big gala tonight that's right uh, and all the funds go to the children right. we get wonderful um, things for the academic program and our technology program so it's an exciting place to be. Nancy you did great thank, thank you so you. much. Hey guys wait for us real quick say hi to everybody say hi to the Bay Area you see the kids in the back all the way back there with the cheerleading outfit that's the upper school you're gonna see them perform you're gonna see the chorus perform as well throughout the morning this is a cool school and we're hoping you're having a great day today. Hey, good morning, everyone. We're live at Canterbury School of Florida, live in St. Pete. It's an amazing, cool school. Take a look at this. This is why it's an amazing, cool school. This is what you call flag. All the students are about 104 students here that are within lower school, kind of like uh, the, the uh, elementary school students. And obviously, everyone is celebrating here. Look at all the pirates. They've been singing here in front of all their parents. There are at least 50 or so parents out here this morning. Uh, and it really is a cool school. You can see the kids over here to the right. These are all first graders wearing their Dr. Seuss hats because it's Dr. Seuss's birthday celebrating 100 years. And I got a little bit of education for you guys this morning. Apparently, Dr. Seuss wasn't crazy. There really is a green egg. Uh, joining me now is Miss Perry. She's a kindergarten okay. teacher. All right, talk to us about this because your parents actually have a chicken uh, that grows, that ha hatches green eggs. We do. Last year in pre-K, we actually hatched the chicken egg. And one of my students adopted the chicken and uh, it lives at her house and it's an arucana chicken that originated in Brazil. And that is the natural color of its, of its shell. So Dr. Seuss wasn't crazy. Dr. Seuss wasn't crazy. He knew what he was doing. He knew what he was ago. doing. Yes, All right, thank you so much, Miss Perry. Welcome. We're going to go talk to two parents over here because what really makes this school a cool school, at least one of the other elements, are the parents. It's an independent private school, so all the funds come from parents. These are two parents right here. You have Kelly and uh, oh, I forgot John. your name, John. There it is, John uh, uh, Milkovich. There it is. All right, Kelly. Overall. This is an amazing process because parents get involved so much. Talk to us about that. It's one of my favorite qualities in Canterbury is how they foster this relationship with the parents. I've been able to be involved in 
Masterpiece Moms and Musical Moms, where a group of us go into each homeroom and educate children on a famous artist or composer or musician. I've been involved with Book Fair. If you have interest in the arts, you can go to the art room. If you have interest in, you know, library, you can volunteer in the library. It's just such a privilege to be involved with my kids' education. John, you got a gala happening tonight. It's one of many events that go on throughout the year, and all the money goes right back to the school. It does. It's one of the biggest, it is the biggest fundraiser the school has, and everyone knows that every dollar goes back to our kids. And our kids love this school. There's nothing more that they would like than to come to school every single day, so yeah. it's fantastic. You were telling me your son says, hey, you promised me you're not going to take me out of the school. He did. He, he said, <laughs> he sat my wife and myself down and said, please, I never want to leave Canterbury. And that says a lot to the testament of the quality of education yeah. and everything the teachers do. And it's just, it is a cool school. John, thank you so very thank much. You. And that's why we're here. This is a cool school. Listen to this. Listen to all these kids. This is the uh, school prayer that they do every single day, every time at 8 25 8 30 in the morning this makes it a cool school hope you're having a great start to your morning everybody go in peace to love and serve the lord have a great day thanks alcetus it was nice hey y'all uh, you know what else we love we love alcetus and he is having a very good time today at a cool school hey Hey, good morning, everyone. We're live at Canterbury School of Florida, live in St. Petersburg. One of the things that make this school a cool school is the choir. Listen to how beautiful they are. It's absolutely amazing. These kids are all in high school, and they do a great job. This is all, this is actually part of their curriculum, uh, and they've been practicing now and singing in part of the choir now for weeks and months. And the best thing is they've we been together young since they were younger, at least four years old. You. Listen into them. The choir is great, and we're actually live uh, inside the parish hall. And I'm not sure you can see across over here. And, uh, and just to kind of give you an idea, St. Thomas Episcopal Church is affiliated with Canterbury School of Florida, so they share the same parish hall. So all the events like this happening right now is inside this parish. So they they share. It's a really great relationship, a unique relationship as well. Take a look at over here. Joe, take a look at all these kids down here. These kids are three, four years old. This is all a part of their pre-K program. They're soon going to start a pre-K uh, pre three uh, program as well. There's some parents in the back. Parents are heavily involved as well. Uh, really is an amazing, cool school. All right, so we're going to talk to a couple of students to find out why they think it's a cool school. First off, tell me your name. There's Paul. Okay. Sam Fawcett. Okay. Shaniqua Mitchell. Jasmine Howard. Right. And Teg with Alderson Tabor. Yeah, you did the great name. All right, uh, come look at me over here. Um, talk to me about why do you think this is a cool school? Well, um, at the school, you can do really whatever you want to do. Like, I am a cheerleader, a golfer, and I'm in all of the school productions. So you can really do whatever you want, whatever your passion is. And that, so, that's so unique because yeah. you can't get that everywhere. Yeah. All right, talk to me about why you think this is a cool school. Um, it's a really family knit uh, community, and you can trust anybody that's here. And you can call up your mom and say, hey, I'm staying at Tegwa's house. And the mom, your mom knows Tegwa, and those are family. And it's like we're sisters, and we go to the same school. How long have you guys known each other? Um, three, four years. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, why do you think it's a cool school? I think Canterbury is a good school because of our rigorous academics. I can have a hard class, and our teachers will find a way to make my academics fun for me. And everybody here is able to help you. I play basketball, cheerleading, and I play tennis, and I can still make honor roll at the same time. Time. And this is, what's really interesting is there's no cup policy. You try out for a sports team, you're going to make the team. Why else do you think it's cool? Well, I think it's a very cool school because of the fact that if you're trying to um, go to a subject that's very hard, you can easily go to a teacher after school or any time uh, during the day, and it's easy for us to help. Quickly, tell me why you think it's a cool school. Uh, like, everybody knows everybody, and we're close, and there's no cup policy, so everybody can play sports, and it's just a fun time. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Coming up at 9 o'clock, another thing that makes this a cool school, a marine biology lab. 2,800 square foot building located in the other campus. This is a cool school. Back to you guys in the studio. School of Florida. I gotta tell you, we've been here throughout the morning. There's so many reasons why this school is a cool school. Another element, it's a marine biology studies lab. It's a 2,800 square foot facility located at the second campus where the upper school students go. Joining me now is Gina Cummings, or Jenna Cummings, and she is the marine biologist uh, director of studies. Okay, um, I want to talk to you about so much, and including the marine biology and what you're able to teach some of these kids. Talk to us about the program in general. The program 
program covers pre-K through 12, and students here at the Huff campus have their own science lab center with the touch tank. They also come to our upper campus and go to the marine studies lab, and they get lessons that enhance their traditional science curriculum about the life that lives in Tampa Bay, conservation, sustainability for the future. Okay, now you, you guys had a really big announcement a couple of months ago, big for Canterbury as well. Talk to us about that. Uh, Pierre-Yves Cousteau founded Cousteau Divers, and he's setting up his headquarters in St. Petersburg, and he announced Canterbury is the first partner school in the world. So we are partnering with Cousteau Divers, and our kids are going to have a lot of opportunities because of that. Our first group of high school students is getting scuba certified right now with our Venture Crew 210. And he picked you guys because you're so dedicated to marine biology and, and the lab at yes. the upper campus yes. is beautiful. I was just yes. saying earlier, 2,800 square feet. State-of-the-art facility. It rivals Eckerd College's lab. Um, I'm so blessed to work there. And the kids get to come there, do labs, study the touch tanks, collect organisms, and study how they interact. And, um, and also we have partnerships throughout the whole community, Tampa Bay Watch, uh, Florida Fish and Wildlife, things like that. And so Pierre-Yves Cousteau is really impressed with how we reach out into the community and get the kids excited. And you get kids excited. And, and you, one of the activities you were telling me about, you guys collected red uh, redfish. Red drum, yes. Red drum. Uh, talk to us about that. I mean, because they seem from as a baby yes. all the way to they get bigger. Yes. So we work with Florida Fish and Wildlife, and we get these juvenile red drum, and the kids learn how to calculate what feed ratios, what to keep the water healthy. And then eventually they'll be released into Tampa Bay to restock the fishing population. So they get to see the, the juvenile as fish grow all the way to adulthood and then be released into Tampa Bay. Jenna, you did great. Hey, can I ask you a question? What's your favorite part about science and all this cool stuff? Doing all the projects, probably. What's your favorite project? Um, I liked when we learned about the food chain of the all the animals and Stuff. Where else can you learn that other than right here at Canterbury School of Florida? Amazing school, so many different activities. I've had so much fun here this morning. They do a magnificent job between the staff, the parents, and all the students here. We've had a great time. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Elsie. Just a nice job today. That was fun. All right, coming.